Hi, and welcome again with our fourth video. Uh, we are talking about ASP.NET Core API with the Flutter. So uh, this is our fourth video. In the previous video, we have a small introduction about Flutter and about what you have, what we'll do. And the second and third video, we have created uh, ASP.NET Core API. Uh, today, our fourth video will try to finish the controller in that API, and we'll try today to test it and to see how, how it will be. So let's go to our Visual Studio and see what we have done there. So we have stopped here last video. Uh, we create our student controller. So in this controller, what we'll have? Uh, actually, we'll try to call the uh, repository f through this controller. This controller will be our, uh, let's say, our UI in the browser. Uh, so let's first things is we need to create our, uh, let's, uh, let's say it's connection, how to create, uh, to link uh, our uh, controller with our database. So let's, I need now we'll call it uh, iStudent. Uh, Let's call it stew. So let me just call this one my services. Okay. After that, I need to inject it on my constructor. Uh, let's call it underscore student. Now student. So student. Underscore student. That first things. So uh, now, depend on what we have in our services, I need to create my controllers. So will be one method in the controller to to get student and to get all the student, and one for save and to be updated to there. After that, last one will be that death. So what we'll do now? Uh, let's try to write the save so the save normally will send data so this data will be as a post will post data so it'll be many things so we'll say public uh, reaction result let's call it save so what will come from there it will come from body not from link it will come as a package let's say uh, underscore it will be a uh, uh, package of student student let me call a student uh, we can call it data so this our data come from this from the user so this data what we'll do with this data so we try to make it here easy uh, you can you can manage. Let's suppose here if your uh, data uh, it came null, you can say uh, return uh, bad request. It's this back to you. This thinks back to you how how you like your code to be. So uh, here, what I need to uh, to say. So if this end user they send me the data, so I need just to call my uh, student. Sorry, my uh, why I can't it here. It should be let's call it DB easier. And there is called DB DB or it should be the connection. Yeah, we'll call it DB. It's, I think it's easier to be more understandable. So that. So I need now what I need to do now. I need to save. So this save the method what we have implemented already in my uh, repository. I don't need to write here. Anything linked to database or linked to anything uh, to yeah nothing linked to my database. It will be now why we we do this this way to separate our data repository and services. Uh, after that we inject in our uh, startup. This I think more secure and more uh, use uh, let's say uh, reusable or more maintainable. Uh, this they call the enterprise way to create your code. It's not good for a small project. It's for it's very helpful for the big project. 
So what I need to send after I get my my data, I can send anything that I want here. I can send back to my models just to see if uh, my data if they are already added it. So after I save, here should be better to get something from the method what they have wrote, uh, we have wrote here in the repo in the repository. Sorry. So here in the save, if you want to make it more proper way or better way. It should be this one, uh, let's suppose int, or let's suppose it will be uh, any different class. Let's suppose how many, if you want to return your ID from uh, ID, sorry, from here, if you want to say it succeed or not succeed, uh, you should you can return anything from that one and use it here. But here, just we our way just to make it very simple. Uh, and we could maybe uh. Add something different after that. After I finish this uh, course uh, or this uh, videos, I can uh, publish something. Uh, let's say more proper. If you see something different bet between the repository and the GitHub, or this code will be just adding a few things to make the code more proper and proper way. Uh, so what we can do one more things. So let's suppose I need to get the uh, one student only by ID. How we can do that? Just it will be HTTP get. So I need to pass uh, my ID between them two. ID. So I say public I action. I can call it uh, get student. So they will send me only ID from the front. Okay. Uh, let's say we can write many things here. Oh, let's straight away say student. Let's call it model or data better equal. So I need to say underscore db or we call it db. Yeah, we call it db only dot uh, get student only. I need to pass my ID. After that, I can return it to. Uh, I say okay. I send my data. That's it. So if I want to send now all a student, I can say sorry. Uh, HTTP would be get, but here to be public. I action. Uh, let's call it uh, get students. To get everything, so let's we can't write straight away like this. Oh no, not do it. Say, uh, as we said, it will be I qui Ravel type of student uh, data equal db dot. I need all the student, I don't need this one, it's not method. Uh, you can return my data very easy. Oh, sorry, it will be here because uh, we have many students. Why? Oh, sorry, I just forget to put. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's it. That is a JSON easier. Uh, so, last one, the easiest one. Let's call it. Uh, HTTP uh, delete. Let's say public I action. Let's call it delete. So I need to send ID. Okay. Uh, I got this ID. I need to say uh, DB dot delete. I need to pass the ID only. Very easy and very simple. But you have something to return here. Oh, if it's not null, so I think we forgot something in this one. Uh, let me check it there. Let's back to our again. Just return. Okay. Uh, I don't think we need to send anything there should be some sending something but we'll leave it empty now 
So now I think we can say testing time. So let's just try to run it and see what we'll do with it. So what what we'll use for testing? We'll use uh, Postman. I think the easiest one to use. So first, after running, we'll try to create one student and try to post it. But you need to be careful how to use Postman here. Uh, Okay, just we running the. We we'll say we call it student or students. Uh, let's back to our student. Uh, we call it student. This one. So we'll put API after our controller name is the student only. So let's back to the browser. That's taking time. So here we call in the default uh, the default uh, controller. So if I say is to student, I have nothing here. I have nothing. So it's working, but we have nothing. So let's copy this link, and we'll go where to Postman. Postman. Let's copy our link, and we'll say here post. It's not get. Be careful about this one. In the header sometime ask you to add the decoration for this one to say it's type of json and application is json2 okay so now the body uh, you you will need to send it as a json so i need to go to row so your application needs to be json what you can write uh here between your data between this bracket you need to write the The required that it should be first one. Uh, I think first name, test name, okay. Second one, last name. It will be uh, last name test just for testing. So um, which one we need again? I think the gender. It will be. F. I think that's enough, but let's first name everything is fine. So let's try to send it. If it's good, let's wait for our data. So you be, should be careful. I didn't send anything there. I sent zero. Uh, sorry, I, I did send no ID here. So, but when I receive, I receive the ID. Okay, I receive my data with the ID. So uh, let's say one more time one, one. Again, send. It's going to my database, ID2. So if I need to see my data, I can create a new one more postman. I will leave it here, get. Same. I'll say just get. So I will get my first, uh, let's say, student and second student. Uh, if you need to get by one, one of them only, just write one. It's working fine. So I think here we are till now till this moment we are fine with our controller and our database and as as I mentioned to you we have used uh, one of the good approach how to write your code and split your data uh, we use in memory database you should be careful if you close this, this application all your data will be deleted because it's in memory database it's not uh, SQL, SQL Server database. Uh, I think till this moment you can say we have finished our API. Next time what we'll do, we'll create, uh, we'll start with a Flutter. We'll create our project in Flutter, and we'll see what we have. We'll do with it step by step, same there. But I think till this this step, it's everything is easy, and I hope you have done something nice. Uh, see you in the next video, and bye bye.